Alright, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Albert. So today we're going to look at how to create a custom SAML application in Microsoft Azure AD. Um, if you are an IAM engineer or let's say you are an Azure administrator or an IAM administrator or IAM architect, one of the things that you need to know is how to create a custom SAML app integration or a custom SAML SSO application in Azure AD. It's, it's very, very, very simple to do it uh, in Azure AD without any stress or anything like that. So over the years, one of the things that I've read, one of the things that I've been doing is learning how to how to integrate uh, SAML applications in Azure AD. There are a lot of companies who are hiring for Azure Administrator, cybersecurity engineers with a focus on Active Directory and the Azure AD. So before, let's say if you're looking for a job in IAM, there could be a job for like maybe an IAM engineer and then they might want you to focus on maybe Azure, only Azure AD because it's not only Okta, SailPoint, Ping Identity that are pro providing um, that are providing SSO um, SSO uh, what do we call policies or providing SSO integrations to companies. Microsoft Microsoft Azure AD is also a tool that you can use to set up a single sign-on applications in Azure AD. It works it works exactly the same thing as the way Okta Okta works the way Ping Identity or the way SailPoint works. So today I'm gonna to take my time to show you how you can create a custom applications in Azure AD that will help you. All right, so this is my Azure AD portal. Normally we call it Microsoft Entra uh console because that's why microsoft says that we should call it no more azure ad so we can call it entra id right so this is this is my microsoft uh entra entra id but i bet i feel comfortable calling like calling it azure ad so please <laughs> because i'm old school so i'm used to calling it azure ad so basically what we have here is we have I I I I have, I have clicked on the application so that so that's why it's showing all my all the applications that I've already integrated into Azure AD. Now, well, the first thing I need to do is to come to here, come to the main general overview, and this will show you my tenant. So this is my tenant. All right. So now we're looking at how you can create a custom application. So for example, let's say that there's an application, let me go back. Let's say that there's an application here that the company has reached out to you that they want you to integrate into Okta. Let's say that the name of the application is um, 15.5 or something like that. Just a minute, let me try as much as possible to see if I can log in to my, all right. So I'm going to log in uh into this application so let's say that um our company i think i've forgotten the password i don't think so let's see all right so let's say that the hr people or different uh, like different department have reached out to us to integrate this application into uh, Microsoft Azure AD so that we can assign the application to the users, right? So the first thing that you're going to do is that when you come to your Microsoft tenant, you search for enterprise application. So that's the first thing that you're going to do. You click on the enterprise application and then click on new application. Then you click on create your own application. Sometimes you have to come and then look for the application here, but if you cannot find the application, what you can do is here, here you can search for the application. If the application exists to so mine is 15.5, so this is the application. But let's just let's just say the application does not exist. Let's let's just say the application is not here. Right. So what we're gonna do is that we click on create your own application, and here you have to give an, a name to the app that you're trying to create. So I call this application 15.5, which will definitely appear. But I'll just add something to it. Let me say 15.5.7. Right. 
Then the next thing is that I click on you have, you have to select this one. So select select here it simply means this the third one simply means that the app is not found in the Microsoft Gallery. So you, that is why you are creating a custom. So basically, like what we are trying to do is to create a custom some more application. So I'll go ahead. I'm going to create. I'm going to click on create, and I'm going to wait a little bit. Normally, it takes just some few seconds to create to create the application. Right. So now I have. So this is the application ID, which is the object ID. The next thing that I see here, it says assign users and groups, set up single sign-on, provision user account, conditional access, and then sell service. So these are the five tasks that you're going to see here. But what you do mostly is these two things here. This is basically what you'll be doing. So the first thing you're going to do is to click on get started for the setup single sign-on. Then here, you're going to click on SAML. Then here, it is going to require you to add your entity id and also to add your consumer as a, a session consumer service url the, a, the acs url when you scroll down here you're going to see here where it has the metadata and everything but you but you will not be able to see the metadata unless you've uploaded your um your entity id and then the acs url so for example I can come to this application. Actually, this is this is just a free trial. It's going to end within seven days, All right? So I click on this gear button here, and I click I can click on company settings, and then when I click on company settings, I click on SSO. So I, when I click on SSO and I come to get started, I have my my ACS URL here. I copy the ACS URL. And then, sorry, not in Okta. <laughs> I'll come back here and click on Edit. So this here, I'm going to, I'm going to, edit, I'm going to look for the Accession Consumer Service URL. I click on Add Reply URL. Click on here and then paste it. So when I paste it here, I'm going to just click on Backspace and it's going to pick it up. The next thing is that I go back to my application and copy the Entity ID at the same time here. Copy. Come to Azure. And here is identify entity ID. I click on add identifier, and then I'm gonna paste it here. And then after that, I click on save. So basically, this this is what this is all that you're gonna do in uh, do for your company. So now this one is saved. Perfect. Then the next thing is that I can just go ahead and then close this. Right. So now, no, I'll test later. All right. So now you see that here we have the certificate here. We have the metadata. What I need here is the metadata. So normally you are going to download the metadata. So when I click on the metadata, this I have it here as an XML file. I have to come in here to my application and then come to the metadata contact. I'm, I'm not going to do it because of security reasons. I'm not going to show you my, my metadata. So you come here and then you upload the metadata. So basically that's so you can go ahead and then open the metadata app. And then you you come to metadata contact and then upload it and then create the connection which I've already done it. I'm not going to do it again. I've already done that. Then after that, the next thing is that you can go ahead and then test the connection. So now I'm done with this application. Now the next thing that we can do is to go to overview again. Click on overview, and here this is where we are going to assign the application to users. So when I click on assign users and the groups here. It will open it and I can click on add user. Then the other thing is that let me go back a little bit. So here I can come to users and groups here on the left corner here on the, on the left side, click on it. And then I can come to add user and group. And here I'm going to click on users and groups, none selected. And then I'll specify the person. So I can go ahead and then specify, look for James. So I'll click on this person, James White, and assign it to James White. Click assign. Now, the next thing is that I'm sure somebody's gonna be like, can you also assign it to a group? So let's say, let's say, like, let's say you have a group that has let's say seven or four people in that group. You can assign it to group by clicking add user as a group, click on non selected, and then go and look for the group. So here I have a group called let's say administration group. When I click on administration group and I click on select, I can go ahead and click on assign. So when I click on assign, you see that the group has also been added to it. 
now you can see here we have object the object type so now the first one is a user the second one is group so now we have here the next thing that we're going to look at is how can we, how can james get access to the application that we just we just integrated this is a very simple answer so basically microsoft has a different web a different link to that it's not like the way we have it in octa or the way we have it in in sale point or ping identity so what i need to do is go to my apps my apps microsoft.com so that is so this is going to be the application uh the web the link when i click on the link here i should see the application normally it takes a little while before yes so now the application has appeared so this is this so this is how the application is now the other thing is that when i come to overview here we have the overview we have the properties here so now we also have the when you click on the properties you can see here i can go here and then change the logo so for example i can go to google and then search for 15 5 logo and then click on this logo here and then save image now this one will not work let me search for a different logo click on this one here let's check whether it's an s png this one is an if this one will not work okay let's pick let's look for another one all right this one cross three fingers crossed perfect this one will definitely work let's try this downloads click save perfect now let's go to azure click on this folder here add this one to it and then yes we can go ahead and then click on save and then we save the logo perfect so normally it takes because it's on a different link it will take a little while before it's it updates here so you see that it's still having the, the the old the custom one so normally like i said it takes a little while before it updates right so this is where the application is going to appear and then uh the users that you're going to assign the application to they will get access to it so now if i go back to the uh to my console i go to users i can add another more user to it click here and then i'm going to search for ola there's somebody called ola here we have ola jigs so i can go ahead and click on select ola here and then click on assign and then ola 2 can be assigned to the application all right let me go back and refresh and see if it has been assigned if not i can just close this and then open a different tab and type my apps so normally i don't know it's it takes it takes a little while before um before the application is added to it so now that is the simplest way that you can add application to azure ad now what about if you want to delete this application all right so if you want to delete this application you can just quickly just go ahead to properties here and then this will give you the application so basically you can just go ahead and click on delete and click on yes and then it will delete but you see if i come here and refresh the page it will still take a little while before it's deleted before it's deleted from the not now right so basically that is how you create a custom some more application in azure ad this is very very simple um if you like this video kindly subscribe to my, my youtube channel and then like this video thank you all right so this is how you create a custom application in azure ad is very 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 simple thing you know if you if you get some uh, some time for yourself what i will recommend for you is that as much as possible that you register for the microsoft 365 business uh business license i think it's 22 dollars a month right so what you can do is that if you can give yourself one month and then you can even you can even set up for a trial like a trial version they have they, they have a 30 days trial so normally like if you create an account they will and they will tell you to pay 22 dollars you pay for the 22 dollars or probably sometimes you don't even pay for the 22 dollars they will tell you to try it for 30 days and after 30 days you can go ahead and then uh buy it so you can give yourself let's say within within 14 days or 21 days to study microsoft azure active directory and it will help you to build yourself the skills that you need for the job market to become an im engineer or an im architect right 
for me, fortunately, I was lucky because Microsoft was doing a certain program called the Develop Microsoft Developer Program, where you can register for Microsoft tenants for free, and then they'll give you a Microsoft 365 E. Uh, e E3 license for free. So that got me access to my Azure and I can do a lot of things with it. So that's one of the things that I can I can advise you that you should do and it, it will help you to get the skills that you need to become an expert in Microsoft Azure 80. All right, if you like my video, can you subscribe to my, ch my channel? If you wanna be trained, I don't train people for, for Azure. I am, I only train people for Okta. I am normally, I tell people like whenever people reach out to me, I'll tell them that, well, if you want to know Azure, Azure AD, then buy a course on Udemy and then you should be able to, you know, study and then get certified as a Microsoft identity as an administrator. All right. Thank you.